hello and welcome back to this channel today's recipe is ofaku or banga soup yes we are going local today yay <laughs> if you like what you're seeing please hit that subscribe button and also click on the notification bell and also share and like this video <laughs> Nigeria or other parts of Africa always wonder how we make uh, all this traditional food even though we live in diaspora. So today I'm going to be showing you how we achieve this benga or ofaku stew. So if you're one of those wondering how we prepare this soup in the diaspora, then come with me to the kitchen. Let's go make it. <music> So this recipe, we're going to be using meat and the meat of our choice here is the beef shank. You can use cow leg. Some catfish, you can also use mackerel or any fish of your choice. Some dried prawns, we also call it opo in our native language. And the banga concentrate. This concentrate is made from the palm kernel. So this is the main ingredients in this soup. This is the isia furue kwabobu. And of course your onions and your habanero pepper. Dried scent leaves. You can also use basil leaf from your local store. To begin, I'm just going to go ahead and salt my catfish. I will just get some salt, sprinkle it on the catfish and proceed to rubbing it in. You can use maggi or you can also use a chicken bouillon. You can add pepper, whatever you want to add, but I just prefer to keep the taste simple and I just add, just use the salt to rub around the fish. After I'm done rubbing the salt in, I'm just going to go ahead and throw it into my air fryer. You can throw it in your grill, you can put it in your oven to bake, you can even fry it. Just do you, do whatever that you prefer, however you prefer to cook your fish. So back to our shank, you guys know how I love my air fryer, but this shank right here, because of the tendons or uh, the aquarium inside of it <laughs> it's gonna take a while to cook so what i'm gonna do is just put it in the pot that i'm gonna be using to make the stew add my onions add some uh, beef bouillon and allow it to cook until it is tender don't forget to add some water while you are at it <laughs> back to our banga sauce so i just scooped it out from the can and here i am adding the hot water to start to dissolve the banga concentrate <laughs> So I'm going to set that aside and go back to my beef shank and here you can see me adding the prawn. I just add the prawn to the beef shank and continue to let it cook. Decanting the banga sauce, the one that I just added, warm water slowly into the pot and you do it slowly to avoid adding particles into your soup. Sorry, I lost the clip where I slowly decanted the water into the 
main pot. So here I am just adding the onion and the habanero pepper that I blended into the soup. So just uh, keep boiling the, the soup, continue to boil it until you get to the consistency that you need. When I mean consistency, I mean the thickness of the soup that you want to achieve. So we're just going to let it boil and boil and boil until we are satisfied with the soup consistency. Add your salt to your taste and continue to boil. And then don't forget our local Maggi, Ogiro, Bay, Dawa Dawa or Iru as people in different tribes may call it. satisfied with the consistency of this soup so I'm gonna go ahead and add my catfish that I have grilled and we will continue to let the soup simmer into the catfish okay So we're going to be adding our scent leaf, I already washed it, remember they send us this thing dry from Nigeria, so you soak it, wash it with warm water to kill any germs, okay, and then add it to your soup. there you have it guys our delicious ofaku or benga soup oh my god this soup is so delicious especially when you use it to eat rice some people also like to use it for swallow i mean however you like it just make it and serve it it is very easy and it's very simple to make so yeah, if you have watched up to this point, what are you waiting for? Just smash that like button, click that subscribe button, share the video, encourage your sister, let's create more video and make sure that you make sure you try this recipe. Make sure you try it and let me know what you think in the comment section. Come back and comment on this video.